Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more Xenonauts Community Edition. And we are actually in a military base in the Soviet Union. Uh, looks like we have a bunch of soldiers, we've got some tanks around. I have no idea if that tank's actually mobile. Um, it would be lovely if it was, but we have a small crashed alien ship. No idea of crew complement or what, really what it was. I think it was a, a scout. So we're not expecting a huge amount of resistance. And I like the fact that this military base has sandbags all over the place. Actual, like, proper cover. I have no idea how good sandbags are, but I'm going to assume they're not terrible. So, no immediate contact straight out the bat, uh, which means I will probably have anyone who's carrying a combat shield who shouldn't be carrying a combat shield. Uh, do we only bring one spare combat shield? Oh, shoot, one of the wounded people was probably carrying the spare combat shield, weren't they? Yes, our assault would have been carrying a spare combat shield. Okay, so we've only got the one spare. That's not great. Actually, before we drop that, I'm going to turn people around to just check behind us. That's actually a bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. Uh, you know what? While you're carrying that combat shield, Zero Slug, would you mind stepping out and just having a look around quick? Okay, got a barracks down there. Okay, this isn't terrible. Um, okay, pull back inside quickly. Uh, I would like you to do the same on the top side before we get too far out. Okay, I like this cover. I have to say, I really like this cover. Could you actually just kind of move forward a bit? I mean, if there's any bad guys immediately around... Okay. Damn. Seasons. We haven't fought these guys for a while, but they are a pain. We're going to be fa I mean, psychic attacks, which I'm not a fan of. Um, also, they have a longer line of sight than us, so we've got to be careful with that. So he can see us already. Uh, that is... That's not one of their soldiers or warriors, though. That is just a non-combatant, so he's probably going to go plasma pistol. I want to check this blind car. I mean, I can put you behind these barrels. I don't think they're explodable barrels. So, if you wouldn't mind going to there, that's not actually bad cover. Now, what have I got that can deal with this guy? Because if we can take him out right now, that'd be great. We do have these lovely sandbags here. So, I could move people up to here and actually take these positions early. Uh, we've got... Carbine's not going to help right now. Uh, but Plasma Rifle get you there with 59. Uh, seasons are pretty weak, especially non-combatants. So, we should... Yeah, we sh I mean, this should one-shot them pretty easily. And we've also got the scatter laser. Uh, scatter laser can't move out into cover enough, so you're going to have to stick in the ship for a while. So it's going to have to be rifles, I think. We do also have a sniper. Let's get Victoria right out. Get you crouched. Now, there is a block chance, because obviously technically you are behind this. Uh... I can actually put a burst on you. Three shots at 18%. If it doesn't hit you and doesn't kill you, it might actually suppress you. Or one at 52%. Actually, I'm going to go with the triple burst. Yep, landed the shot. One season down. I'm never actually sure how I'm going to pronounce the name of that species. So I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, and therefore I do kind of apologise. Right, let's take this cover. I mean, we've got this cover right here. Um, let's get another rifle down here. Kind of watching that way. Let's get a sniper there. I don't want to cluster up too much, but you know we've only got we do have cover to take, but not a huge amount. You're not terribly useful right now. Can I actually get you back inside the ship? I could move you back inside the ship, and then put you behind them because you're not going to be massively useful right now. This is a bit open. A bit. Uh, let's get the scatter laser out, because you can. You might not be able to fire this turn, but you are ready to rock and roll next turn. And I wouldn't mind another rifleman on... Actually, let's get another sniper on the very corner here. This is a good fire position. I like this. If we can get a bit more line of sight down this way, and of the road, then we'll be great. The only problem is, you know, seasons will have outranges. Got to be careful for that. Uh, so we've got two riflemen, and well, we technically zero slug is a rifleman, but you are carrying combat shield right now. Let's let's just hold you guys for the time being, because this is still the first turn. Uh, the aliens haven't had a chance to start murdering everyone, and also the local forces. I don't know what they're equipped with, but they might actually be able to do some damage here. So let's see what happens. Psychic attacks, obviously, I forgot about that. Okay, you're going to run into there. Got another soldier down there. So that barracks room is actually probably okay. 
Uh, and that psychic attack did nothing. We didn't check for bravery. We haven't faced um, seasons in a while. We haven't, we haven't had to deal with Caesar salads for a while. Um, so I kind of forgot about the whole psychic attack problem. I did check to see what our braveries are. Hopefully we don't get too many panics or berserks. Uh, this does put a bit of a time pressure on us because we want to move in and actually try and deal with these guys quickly. You know, before they have a chance to keep wearing down our morale with constant non-line of sight psychic attacks. So, where do we actually want to go from here? We know, I mean, we've got saw a soldier running into that building. Um, looks to be pretty clear. That does would that would actually give us an upper floor. We can actually move around and take that. And I think that counts as cover. So that might be a good building to breach it clear. Uh, we've got a nice firing line set up down here. We know there's a soldier in here. I'm not too sure about this area. This area concerns me a little bit. Zero Slug should probably drop the combat shield, though. Because, you know... I feel I feel like Zero Slug's the kind of person who likes having a gun to shoot aliens when they're running around. Now, we did hear... Ah, that's what it was. We did hear some grass get rustled. Which makes me feel that maybe there was a bad guy down here. Uh, we could actually move someone down here and just keep an eye on this area. Because I don't want to expose... If we move someone up to here, and then there's a bad guy just right here firing on their flank, that would go badly for us. So we could get the new our new lieutenant, who doesn't have enough time in it. Uh, we could get our other private, who doesn't have enough time in it. Wow. New 64 versus 60. You do not have a lot of time units for a lieutenant. Yeah, okay, no one's got enough time units to actually do what I want them to do. Right, hold that. Zero Slug, who, when, he, when Zero Slug doesn't have to drop the... Uh, when Zero Slug doesn't have to drop a combat shield, he will have enough time units to do what I want him to do. So I probably want to get the combat assault team up to here. This building had a soldier run in and he didn't die. So that's usually, I mean in my in my experience, a good sign. Let's move you up to actually there. Just for you, I was gonna put you on that side and then have a peek around this corner. But you're more likely to get shot from this side. So let's have the combat shield there facing that way. And we can put you behind. And you won't have any time use left because you're a private, but you can at least kind of just hunker there and tell us if anyone's going to come around that corner. You can watch that direction for me. You're set up there. Okay, I think that's what we're going to do this turn. Well, actually, no, we're going to kill another another alien. More grass noise. Okay, that's concerning me. We did hear the UFO doors open and close. Okay, that's two of them down. That's not bad. Good shooting. I mean, we were a plasma rifle at that range. Not bad. That's two non-combatants down straight off the bat. Okay, you step up and take a peek through this window for me. Okay, there's a soldier. It looks like he's got an AK. I was kind of hoping they'd have upgraded to laser rifles by now. I mean, someone went to the trouble of stealing my research on laser rifles and has yet to actually give them to everyone, which kind of annoys me. That back passage is clear. What kind of map size are we looking at? I've actually, actually almost walked the way back of the map. Oh man, this is actually a tiny map because obviously it's a small UFO. Oh, we can actually already see almost half the map. That's glorious. Uh, right, I want to know what this rustling sound down here is, so let's move Zero Slug down the back here. See, that's the noise we're hearing, but I can't see anything that's causing it. We do have some cover to take here. Yeah, let's move you down here. It should be fairly out of line of sight of most bad things. And you've got enough left for a snapshot, which isn't bad. Can I get the lieutenant down here as well? Yeah, you don't have a lot of time units. Maybe need to make you a sniper or something. You know, someone who doesn't have to run around a lot. Got another soldier in there with another AK. You're seemingly okay. Just want to know what's making grass noise. There might be grass elsewhere. It doesn't have to be that grass. Sound does travel a bit. Sound travels quite far in this game. Out of interest. I can't get a person into that tank, can I? No. Damn it, there's a tank right there. I kind of want to use that tank. Psychic attack again. That's fine. Soldier running out. You're checking the upper floor. That's actually both kind of good. Uh, the fact that you ran out the door and didn't get shot at is good, and the fact you ran upstairs and didn't die is good. You're also not shooting anyone, which, I don't know, I kind of like you to shoot people, but don't feel like you have to. Let's get them inside this building. Uh, we will accidentally close the door, and we can, you know, to confirm this building is clear. I'm going to shut that door behind me, actually. Burn some time units, but screw it. Uh, that will allow us to just kind of confirm this area is clear, and then maybe put a sniper up here or something. Because depends how many big buildings we've got around here. 
There's big buildings at the back here. Could be bad, but it does look like there's a big open space. Uh, you guys are kind of creeping down here. Zero slug. Is there a path through there? There is. I kind of want you in cover, though. I suppose actually that's cover. Yeah, move to there. Okay, no bad guys immediately. Uh, you move up to there. Okay, got another barracks behind. Looks like that soldier is trying to clear the area for us, which is quite nice of him. You do the same on this side. We know the interior of this building is clear because that soldier is running through there, so I'm not concerned about that. Uh, let's see. I kind of want to move up and take some of this cover, but that tank actually blocks a bit of it. Now, I don't know what the hit point is. That, is that just a re... Is that is that a car that they just put a different visual mesh over and therefore probably highly explosive if shot with plasma rifles? Or is it actually a tank with a ton of hit points and not terribly explosive? Or less explosive? Or maybe more explosive? I don't know. It's got ammunition and stuff on board. I suppose you can make an argument tanks are more explosive. Basically, can I use it as cover? Because it does block all of the sandbags around it. Uh, I don't know, is the question. Uh, you know what, let's just hold for a second until we actually get these guys to clear upstairs, because once they can poke out onto the roof, that will tell us a lot about what we're facing. Uh, what was that? Was that a civilian? I think that was a civilian. Could someone just confirm that was a civilian for me? Okay, I think that was a civilian, and I think they just ran into this room, which doesn't appear to have any exits, so that's kind of okay. Let's get Corporal Carroll upstairs and have a look around. That soldier went somewhere up here and didn't die, so that's, you know, good. Okay, you're hiding in the corner, that's fine. Uh, just take a position up behind that desk, and we can poke out. We can look out through these windows, we can check across the way into this other room. There's a blimmin' T... Is that a T-72 or a T-90? I'm not sure. Turret looks a bit small. Maybe it's a T-72. Okay, psychic attacks so far have not had an effect. That's a civilian running around. We haven't actually heard anyone die yet. No one's actually been shot at, which is weird. I guess I'm just used to like the larger alien attacks that have more bad guys. So far, though, this is actually almost peaceful and quiet. Which is kind of weird, considering we've got, like, tanks and shit around. Another barracks, that's not terrible. A container area could be problem. We need to clean through these buildings. No door on this side, though, so... Ah, I'll have to go out the back and go up that way. That's not the worst thing in the world, and actually, we can't... Well, I might run the shield guy out and have him step up to here and just have a look around quick. Just to see if he can spot anything. But probably no, not point, much point taking up the private, so... Let's just have you watch the back there a bit. Just in case someone does pop through that door. Uh, you guys, you can just step around that corner for me quickly and just check there's nothing there. No, all quiet. Let's see, could I get you... Yeah, let's get you up to there. I'm rushing you forward a bit here, but I feel like it's okay. No aliens there. Okay, just watch that way. You're kind of watching his back. Uh, I could actually move you inside and take these positions. These aren't bad, actually. I mean, no, there's a soldier down here, so if we don't hear him die, I kind of feel like my flank is covered. Another armoured vehicle. I mean, like, you could argue that one's stored up and inactive and not, like, fueled and armoured and loaded up with ammo and ready to go. This one is literally parked on the road. What are these tanks doing? Are they mind control the crews or something? This is not how you normally store your, your armoured fighting vehicles. Lots of activity inside the UFO itself, but... Uh, oh, Christ! Okay, hi. You've moved right next to me, and you're in front of the door that I'm trying to get through. Less than helpful. I want to check this out before I move on anywhere, so I'm going to wait for you to move. Okay, psychic attack, that's fine. More grass noises. Still concerning. Okay, have you... You have moved. Thank you. He's probably trying to pass on, like, vital information to me. Like, the keys to the tank! are in my coat pocket, but unfortunately Corporal Carroll from Canada doesn't speak Russian and therefore didn't understand what the soldier was trying to tell her. Okay, we can't see anything from up here. Maybe we'll put a sniper up there, I'm not sure if it's necessary. We're going to take the assault team and actually clear out this building next. Uh, let's get you back inside and close that door because you are Canadian and that's brought up well. 
you can't close the door for some reason. Why can't you close the door? It's not saying you don't have enough time units to do it, you're just not able to close the door now. Okay, fine. Shoddy construction has let us down. Uh, I'm going to pull a rifleman up there to help you out as well, I think. Let's grab... Yeah, Colonel Lucas has actually done pretty well. Let's run Colonel Lucas up here to watch the back alley quick. And then you can move up with these two. So they're not too exposed on their own if they do hit some contact. Because you guys do have very close range weapons. You're not designed for a long range firefight. Okay, that's fine. You're checking that out there. Let's actually move you down one. Because if you do spot something down here... You've got a lot of firepower to kind of back you up with the snipers and scanner laser back here. So come around this way, my friendly private. Uh, actually, you know what? Before we do that, sh you know, shut the door. You 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 were raised right. So, uh, are you any use to me there? Actually, I'm going to move you inside and put you behind this window. I think. So we're going to have one here, one here. Azir Slug's kind of just watching this flank. Uh, that soldier has cleared through these buildings and have run off somewhere. And the UFO is definitely not down here because there's not enough space for it. My concern would be that these guys are going to pop out and see the UFO, but that's not the worst thing that could happen. And actually there's another grassy area over here, so maybe that's where the grass sounds are coming from. Okay. Maybe Zero Slug could push down and check out this corner for me. Take up that position. And then I can run you forward to this log and you can check this out. Meanwhile, these two could actually... We will peek that window, but then they can move in here and take the same position with these windows. Yeah. Okay, never psychic attack. I don't think we've actually had any influence from those yet at all. Let's get you guys moved up to here. We'll move them out next turn. And then you can move up and support them coming up the street. Uh, you take a peek out that corner. Don't see anything. Okay. Well, we know this building's clear because that soldier ran through there and we didn't hear him die. Uh, let's move Zero Slug up first, though, because if he gets into trouble, I would like to be able to support him with fire at the back. There's a soldier. Okay. Well, you're not dead. Is that a third soldier or is that the soldier from who ran through here? I don't know. Could be both. But we can probably move you guys up here and have them in each in the window. That'd be pretty good. And then Zero Slug can join them because there's almost none of the map to explore down here anymore. And if that soldier's alive, then we know there's no one shooting at him. All in all... You know what? I'm not going to finish that thought. I was going to say something stupid. I'm going to say something that could have jinxed us entirely. I'm not going to say that. Uh, you open that door and... Uh, I don't want to run you right up to the window with no time use left because if there was a bad guy right there, then bad things happen to your face. So actually just take that position for now. Uh, you you hold that window for the time being, and Zero Slug, uh, take a position behind that tree. I don't know where that soldier just went to. He was right here. Disappeared. Okay. I wonder if the soldiers can get psychic attacked. I mean, so far all the psychic attacks have just been on my troops. Could they mind control one of the local forces and then turn them against me, and then I have to gun down the local forces? And then I'll get punished for killing local forces, even though they were attacking me. That would be kind of sucky. Alright, pop that door. Let's head outside and see what we can see. Not much. So we've got another kind of building, double building. Uh, got a bit of cover there, actually. If I move you to there, I move you to there. And I'm going to run you all the way up here. Because you do have a fair amount of time units. Don't know why you just didn't vault the cover. Normally you just vault the cover. Can you vault sandbags? Oh, maybe you can't vault the sandbags. Oh no, I think you have to go around the sandbags. They're actually, quite, they are quite thick. Okay. That's good to know. You're kind of facing the wrong way now. Uh, actually, let's let's rotate people around a bit. Let's uh, kind of trapped you in there, haven't I? Yeah, you can't get out. If I move you to there, can I shuffle people around a bit? Because I'm probably going to want this rifleman to help out, you know, elsewhere in a bit. So let's get the snipers and stuff in better positions. A little bit, little bit further forward. 
and the scatter laser front and center. Another psychic attack. Okay, that was on one of our privates. There's the soldiers running around, not being shot at. How is your morale doing after that? Okay, whoever the psychic they've got is, they're pretty terrible, because they just cannot seem to actually, you know, do a successful psychic attack. I think they failed Psychic 101. Okay, we'll breach into here next turn. Is this another two-story building? It is, yeah. Okay. And down here, you... How many time units are there? 25. I can crouch you and you got a snapshot left. That's pretty much all I ask for in life. Let's get you in there and get you set up. And we want to bring Zero Slug up and get them somewhere in this building. Actually, maybe, maybe actually put Zero Slug in one of these windows because you are a major and therefore a much better shot. But for time being, let's get you up to here. Nice little bit of cover there. Okay. Uh, you know what? While you're here, just peek around this corner for me. Was that, was that the same soldier or another soldier? I'm losing track. How many soldiers have they got? The answer is possibly too many. Uh, okay. Not seeing a huge amount there. Let's get you back into a nice bit of cover. At least we know this immediate area is pretty clear. You actually have a pretty bad line of sight out that window. Oh, that's better. Wow, you can't really can't see much out there, can you? Okay. Well, angle them like that. That seems to work out a bit better. Uh, I could probably start moving one of the snipers down here as well. Putting a sniper in there might help. A uh, sniper up there also wouldn't be terrible. I wonder if I could get my rifleman around there. Got you back here, not doing much. And this area is pretty clear. Could I get you kind of tucked up against that? Yeah, move to there and crouch. You're a little bit vulnerable. If there's like a guy back here, they might be able to spot you or something. But I think that's a safe move. And then you can just check this room out for me. If that's clear, I can move a sniper up there and put them in that window. Gives us perfect vision over the back here. Yeah, I could work with that. Okay, Carol, pop the door. Looks like we... Is that a Nintendo? Yeah, there's a Nintendo game system under that TV. I guess that makes sense for it's 1979. Alright, set up on that door. I'm actually going to be a bit ballsy here. I'm going to move this kernel up. Check down that corridor, which is clear. Why does this kind of look like a hospital or something? It kind of looks like a hospital. I don't know why. Um, okay, move back to the cover. I just want to see if there's anything you can see there. I could move you up to that corner and peek around. But I don't want to get too ballsy with this. I don't want to push you too far. Another psychic attack. Okay, we know that's clear. Oh, yeah, it is actually a hospital. Okay, that's kind of cool. And there's the stairs up. Ah, uh, now that's going to be problematic. How do we want to deal with this? Because we could get attacked from here, or here, or somewhere upstairs. We haven't seen any civilians in this building, so we don't know it's not occupied. I think this is where we're going to need the third person, and if we're going to bring the third person in, I would like to confirm there isn't anyone down here. I did say it was a bit ballsy, but now you've got full time units. That does look pretty safe. I could either bring you in this window, or I could bring you in this window. Okay, so we just can't see one corner, and I've got enough time to run you back out of trouble, which is always good. No threat at the top of the stairs. Okay, that actually looks pretty secure. Let's move straight across the hallway, and then we can take this room and then head upstairs. And we'll probably bring you in to join them next turn by smashing that window or something. Yeah. I think that works. How do we have line of sight? Do we have line of sight all the way back there? Oh, you'll see. Wow, that's okay. You'll see it's from there, through the door, through the window, through the open door, through the window, and then out. Yeah, okay. I was very confused. Like, how is this person seeing all the way up there? That's crazy. Okay, so you guys are set up there. 
Zero Slugs, check that back area. I would like Zero Slug to actually have one of these spots because he's a better shot. So let's move you to there. Let's move Zero Slug up into that corner. Yeah, that works out better for us, I think. And then... Well, you're going to check that room next turn and then maybe get a sniper up top. Okay, that soldier is pushing on. That soldier is being aggressive. I like his style. Maybe we need to recruit them. If he doesn't get himself killed. That was not what I was trying to do. I also like how the one thing I was trying to look at, you turned the wrong way to actually look at it. But that's okay. Is this building secure? It is actually... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I didn't actually realise it was like... Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's my new sniper nest. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. That's my sniper nest. I just thought there was a window there. I didn't realise there was a whole other floor. Oh, yeah. I want to. I want snipers and stuff up there. Can you see anything out of these windows? No. And that's probably good. Okay. Let's get you guys set up to breach this. Should be far enough away from the stairs that nothing can engage us from up there, so... I don't think we need to be too concerned about that, unless something comes down the stairs, which would suck. That's pretty cool. And there's the ship. Okay. That's not too bad. Uh, do, do, do. Yes, we want, we want snipers up in that building. That That is a building built for snipers. Uh, how far can you get up there? You can at least get inside the building, which is great. Let's not leave you standing out in the open, though. Have to do this in phases. I'm liking that guy's attitude. I am. I really am. Okay, let's check this room. Okay, we, we found a reception. Okay. Still need to check the upper floor here. Oh, I kind of forgot the, about the colonel at the back there, but... They're kind of watching around that corner for us, that's fine. Making sure they don't get flanked or anything while this is all going on. Okay, now I'm assuming you can shoot out of this place as normal. Oh yeah, you can. Jesus, look at that. That is beautiful, like full 360 fire rock out of that room. Maybe I should put the scatter laser up there as well. I mean, I'm not actually sure there's any aliens left outside the UFO at this point. We've killed two, and we've had zero activity since then. So there might be one holed up in like a back room here or something, but they're probably all in the back of this scout. Which means we won't actually get to use the awesome sniper tower. Which is the same. So I guess this is attached to an airport or something. So that's like an airport control tower. Or maybe like a radar station or something. I don't know. They... Oh, okay. So he's taking shots at the season who's opening the door. Man, if he gets a kill, that's going to be awesome. I'm going to be very impressed with that guy if he gets a kill. Let's check out the top of this building. Uh, let's get the rest of our snipers over to the sniper tower. Maybe we'll be lucky enough that we actually get to use it. Actually, let's go there and close the door behind you, just in case. Or not, apparently, because that's the door I can't close. Okay, fine. And uh, let's see. I'll probably bring the riflemen back down after this, because they're not going to be that useful up there. Especially once you've already got two snipers up there. Oh man, I love this guy. Okay, he can't... He's not a very good shot, but somehow he's engaging the um, Caesar Salad who's opening the door and not getting shot at him turn. If he gets the kill, I just... I want to recruit him. I, just, I want him to be one of our guys. That would be beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, right. You can come down now. And you're, for some reason, capable of closing that door. Okay.
And let's check out in here. So let's move up to here. Anyone home? Uh, doesn't look like it. Unless they're right in that back corner. We can check that out next turn. Let's just get you there to watch that. This might actually be two different rooms. There's two doors. Oh, finally one of those psychic attacks actually had an effect. <laughs> and they actually hit. He actually did hit this ability, uh, the season. That's That dude's doing awesome. Just stand there and keep firing. That's all I want from you right now. Uh, we could actually try and push up some of our riflemen. I think, unfortunately, that is actually a full block, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, actually, no, it only says 67%. Can we fire over that? Let's go find out. We're far enough back, we shouldn't be in too much danger. Yeah, I think you might be able to use that as cover, which might might give us line of sight on those doors. Okay, all clear here. You can check through there next turn. You pop that door. Looks like a doctor's office and is all peaceful and quiet. I guess the doctor's... It's their day off or something, I guess. Uh, you're not doing much right now. There is a, There is still a chunk of stuff back here to check. And we do have sniper support up top, so... Is there anything to take cover in down here? Not really, but you do have the chain link fence, I guess. Fine, let's get bold. Okay, I just had to sneeze for some reason, so hopefully I muted the microphone in time and you guys didn't hear that. If I did just sneeze directly into the microphone, I really apologise. I did try. I've been trying to fight that sneeze off for so long. He actually got a kill! That's that's genius. He actually got a kill. Oh, Kajel Lund has panicked. Okay, what are you going to do? You going to do anything? No, you seem fine. I was, I was so ec ecstatic about what was happening there. Uh, so you've panicked, you have no time units. Okay. Could be worse. I mean, I did expect a bit more of my lieutenants, but okay. Almost have line of sight to that. And you can fire through that. Okay, I thought those were full blocks, but apparently not. Um, Zero Slug. Head out there and join him. Because if anyone, that gives us line of sight to the doors. So if anyone leaves the ship, you know, maybe to vengefully hunt down the uh, soldier who just shot the dude, uh, we might get some shots on that. And that would also expose them to our sniper towers. Uh, in fact, let's rotate you round to here so you are actually facing that way better. And I think we can probably move up people at this point. So you sh can start... Yeah, you can move up to here. And that would actually give you a bit of line of sight over that way as well. Uh, you've panicked so we can't do anything with you. You're not actually one of my guys, but I kind of wish you were. You're just going to hold this angle for us for the time being. And we're going to reach this room and check out that this office is also clear. Okay, so no aliens in buildings. What a boring day. Uh, how far can you get down the stairs? Not very far. That'd be fine. I mean, I'm really trying not to jinx this, but... We've, we've, we've had a really good mission so far. Uh, still opening and closing doors. Those are probably the interior doors, I imagine. Uh, how did you survive that? You did fine with that whole alien psychic crap. Uh, let's move you out this way and you can join up with these guys and sweep part of this and then we can bring in along the back of the UFO. Uh, you, you just hold that position, actually, because... You do kind of have a fire rock if something comes out. Trees and fuel tanks are a bit of a problem there. Have you recovered? You have recovered. Okay, well you just hang back there and think happy thoughts. We're going to set these guys up to come out of this doorway in a minute. And in fact, I think if they're going to come out, we're going to bring you out as well. You can take up the corner of these sandbags. Uh, I wish we were around to want to go could come down this way. We know this area is clear, but that, if someone steps out here, they would have a side shot on us. I guess we want to approach from this side. Because we, we have vision to the doors. We should see if anyone steps out. So, let's bring the shield out to here. Uh, 
I would like to try and capture that Psychic Alive if we can. We've got some stun grenades and gas grenades. So that might be an, a, a small objective for today. Okay, that area looks clear. We know this area is clear. Move to here. Let's get you behind them. Just. Uh, you move down to here and just peek around the corner with this tank. Just in case there is someone in this building. Because that door has been opened. So there could be an alien hiding in there. And they could run out this way. It would probably go very badly for them if they did. But, you know. Aliens have chosen to invade my planet. They're not making the best tactical decisions. Ooh, boy, yep. There's a bad guy in there. Luckily, not a very good shot. Hi. Uh, unfortunately... Well, I mean, well, no, that's not going to land a shot. Uh, okay, let's pull you back so you're not going to get shot in the face again. Uh, let's put you behind there so you can shoot them if they do try anything. You're set up to engage if they come out there. I would like uh, that sniper to orientate that way so we can engage if we need to. Uh, you push up to there. Getting in pretty close, but I think I think you'll be okay behind those barrels. I don't think they're explosive. And I'm going to bring the scatter laser up as well, because if you're just going to hide behind that thin metal wall, I'm okay blasting that whole building down with the scatter laser. I've got 120 rounds for this thing. Okay. You want to hide in there? That's fine. I am going to just set up the scatter laser and go to town on you, my friend. Uh, you, I'm actually going to pull back a bit because you're a bit close to where I'm going to be firing. Now, I don't know how much damage a scatter laser can do to the corner of this building, but I'm going to bet with 120 rounds it's going to be a fair amount. So the idea is to take out the corner of the building and expose it. We could also grenade it if we need to. I mean, you've got a pretty good throwing arm, so if I can take out a corner of the building, we might better go grenade in there. Uh, let's see, I want to try and take out that corner, so aim for that spot. Hi, buddy! Bet you weren't expecting that. Now, I could try and grenade you. Uh, I could try and stun you. We haven't had... Well, no, we, we've captured a live season before. We need a live... We either want a psychic or we want an officer. There's no real value in getting another one of you guys alive. Uh, which unfortunately means it's time to die. That's what you get for shooting at my people. Okay, let's double check that guy was actually alone in there. Yep, okay. That actually worked out really well. Like, just blasting it with the scatter laser. That was perfect. Get you guys inside the building so you're nice and safe. Okay, that, sh that is almost certainly the last active alien outside the UFO. Uh, we just need to bring people round this way, sweep down this last couple of spots, and then maybe have a team try and creep up along here, I don't know. Depends if they're still opening that door or not. I can't tell if they're opening or closing that door. Because we're hearing doors opening, they might be just be running back and forth between the control room and the engine room. Which is problematic. Okay, you're going to have to... Oh, we've got... Is that the soldier from down here? What the hell? That dude is just charging all over the place looking for bad guys. I'm surprised he hasn't stormed the UFO itself. There's no stopping him. He's just a fighting machine. It's crazy. Alright, let's bring you guys up. I want to keep them behind the line of sight of the door, so head up along this way. You can actually come through the opening there. Coming through the opening here would give us this cover, but we might not want to take that just yet. Though, uh, no, I need to be closer to see the doors. I want to see if the doors are actually opening and closing. They've still got a guard up there. That would tell us a lot. Okay. Uh, let's get you out. You seem to have recovered from your little panic attack earlier, so... Let's at least get you up front. Okay, we, actually that does give us perfect vision of the doors, so if that is opening, we should see it. I 
didn't see the door open. Now, that doesn't mean there's not someone right behind it, but at least it means they're not always opening and closing it, which should allow us to close in. Uh, we can Oh, we can get around the ship from this side, actually, so I don't even have to worry about trying to come up this way to get people on the other side. Interesting. Okay, so let's bring the combat shield and carbine around the back of the ship. Assuming there's space and there's not a bunch of trees or something. And that way we don't have to cross in front of the doors to actually flank this thing. Maybe that's what he's doing. Maybe this guy's a real tactical genius and he's planning on flanking this by crossing the other side. Although, to be honest, he would have had to run in front of the doors anyway. And let's be honest, he's not the kind of guy who gets bothered by that kind of thing. I mean, he's gunning down aliens inside their own ship, for God's sakes. He's, uh... He's pretty badass. I'm, I have a minor man crush on this random Soviet dude. Okay, this area looks pretty secure. Uh, there was always the very slight chance there was a bad guy around here. You have to remember that they can be almost anywhere. Uh, but it looks like we have lucked out that time. Okay, so we're not seeing the doors open or close at all. Um... We could bring... Either, either we sweep up this way once they get in position down here and then bring you guys up that way. Or I have someone here. I mean, we could actually set the snipers up here and that would actually allow them to fire almost directly into the ship. Which would be very handy. Also, maybe the scatter laser. Because that door is an opening. Uh, let's see. Let's push down first and then maybe see how we crack this egg. I mean, either way, it's going to involve lots of explosions and gunfire, but still, there can be a small amount of subtlety in how we breach this UFO. Let's start bringing up one of the snipers. And I, I, don't get me wrong, I know this is the best sniper spot we've ever had, and it's very sad that we didn't get to shoot anyone from there. But unfortunately, I am thinking this is actually a pretty decent spot along here to get some long range fire in. So let's start running one of the snipers at least down this way. Maybe we'll set up the scatter laser as well. Just take care by those highly explosive fuel tanks, everything will be fine. Please don't go berserk and shoot a highly explosive fuel tank, everything would not be fine. Okay, now you're good. Uh, I'm going to bring you back around this way. Is there a gap down here? No, you have to run around all this way. That's fine. you actually got a lot of time units. 98 time units. Uh, even when you're carrying as much gear as you are, it's uh, it's pretty awesome. You're, you're a pretty awesome lady. Right, I think we're getting pretty close to actually breaching this thing, so I'm actually going to take a break here, because one, well, this episode's running on 45 minutes, so that's probably long enough, and I need a break. Secondly, I, my nose is running, and I really need to go sneeze again, so before that happens and I do it right into the microphone, I'm going to take a break. So, thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this. Do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you did, and hopefully I'm going to see you all later on for the next one of these, where we try and breach this and maybe capture ourselves as psychic at final, finally capture ourselves as psychic. But anyway... Bye.